try, I'm trying to find a good, better spot for you guys. There you go. Beside. If I put my camera, or if I put my phone thing behind, give a little stability. Okay, that way when you mash the fucking brakes, it'll go head over asshole right into the fucking windshield. <laughs> oh. Good morning and welcome to Morning Conversations with Frank. And Cletus. And special guests. Chicken fried. <laughs> it would actually be fried chicken. <laughs> Here! Part one. Oh, shit. Sometimes, man, I wonder what they're putting in my breakfast. You don't know it yet, but when I edit this video, <laughs> I'm gonna do some zoom in close ups. <laughs> just slamming some fucking chicken sticks, some mozzarella sticks in his mouth. Fucking stone looking out the window like. <laughs> Nothing is sacred on morning conversations, is it? Four bucks. Mm -hmm. So what are they? About four bucks for some cheese sticks? Was it worth it? Mm -hmm. I don't think it was four bucks. Jamming. Jamming, jamming. Get it, bud. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Okay, Google. What's current in the news? In the news. Here's not, the latest news. Latest news. It's getting a little steamy in here, guys. Latest TV, US, at 9.32 a.m. today. Here are your top stories brought to you by Fidelity Wealth Management. AstraZeneca's COVID-19 vaccine. No, I'm not talking about that either. Not talking about that either. Forget about it. Oh, I'll just type it in, man. Oh, you seen that stuff on that pillar? That metal pillar they found in the middle of the desert? No. But we're gonna find out. If you just type in metal pillar in desert, you'll find it. Metal pillar Utah? Sure. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Top stories. Have you heard of this? Check this out. Mysterious metal monolith found in otherworldly Utah desert. Alrighty. Huh? I've been seeing it everywhere. Stainless steel object. Deep in the Mars-like landscape, there's this uh, gleaming metal pillar. It's a smooth, tall structure, and it was found during a helicopter survey of bighorn sheep. Department of Public Safety and the DNR saw this thing from the air. It's a three-sided stainless steel object, 10 to 12 feet tall. Stainless steel, 10 to 12 feet tall. That's expensive. Solid metal, wait. Three-sided, 10 to 12 feet, of course, could be one inch thick. Of course, we wouldn't see that from a helicopter, but 
Well, no, it was at least as big as the guys, right? Oh, yeah. It's I mean, at least as wide as a human being, according to the picture. If you go to images, you'll see it, it's like, like a triangle almost. Right. This thing is from another world. Lieutenant Nick Street of the Utah Highway Patrol. Yeah, I don't know about all that. The location is so remote that they're not letting the public know where it's at. They're worried people might get lost or stranded trying to get out there. And need to be rescued. People would try to go see it too. They're trying to find, they're trying, they're, they're looking into how long it's been there and stuff. Let me look at it. There is no images on this one. Let's see. <laughs> wow. If you haven't seen it, just a Google search image. Yeah, if that's a five foot tall guy. <laughs> I don't know, man. What do you think? That is pretty trippy, dude. Of course, anybody could have put it there. Right. Could have, could have been, could have been. Here you go. My theory. This is what happened. We use stainless steel industrially for ever, you know, making all sorts of parts and shit. How does it get? It can come in any form. We get, we can buy hollow tubes of metal to build things with. We can, we can have sheets of metal to build things with. Any kind of metal, aluminum, stainless steel, steel. All these things come in these different shapes. Big blocks of stainless steel. Somehow, some way, could have come out of a plane. Yeah, yeah, like. Out being sent somewhere you know what I mean it could have been it could have fell out of a cargo plane or something you don't know and landed whoop, just like that in the desert that thing actually probably could be fucking think about it like gravity and shit would it be spinning through the air Probably or what, if it slid off a plane, if, it, if some ratchet straps broke or something and that heavy thing slid off the back of a plane, it'd come straight down like an arrow, dude. Yeah. Because oh, of three dimensions, or because of its aerodynamics, right? Remnants of satellites and stuff like that, they're always coming to Earth. Yeah, that's true. Could have been a sta stainless steel, is very heat resistant shit, isn't it? Solid piece of stainless steel make it through the atmosphere? Well, no problem. I don't know. I'll have to look that up, like what the melting temperature of. Well, All right, what's the melting temperature of stainless steel? I see more on it uh, this morning, and people were looking at years back on Google's Earth, on Google Earth, and it's been there, I guess, for more than ten years. Okay, so the melting points of metal: stainless steel between 1375 and 1530 Celsius, or 2500 to 2785 degrees Fahrenheit is melting temperature of stainless steel came off a satellite anyway the melting point what was it 2500 to 2785 or something like that shuttle the heat makes the shuttle surface reach temperatures of up to 1477 or 2600 degrees Fahrenheit so that's right in that range man that's that's under its highest melting point right so and if it was frozen from space cold from space because metal would absorb the cold of space too Plus, right if it was made for something in space it's probably some high grade stainless steel it's true it's probably at the higher end of the spectrum of melting point. i think yeah. it's probably a chunk of a satellite or something could be yeah it's likely i mean there are thousands and thousands of satellites up there oh yeah that are trashed Can you yeah. imagine Car they they've run into each other they're just fucking garbage up there but would they really have that heavy of a metal maybe for like a control arm maybe they something. were sending it up there maybe they were sending it up there to have up there for repairs because they have cutting torches and shit in space in these big in these in these they go up there with space stations and shit fixing stuff and whatever you know they got all the equipment probably something they got you know away. yeah yeah because that thing weighs nothing in space man so if they got this thing man and they're out there with torches and shit trying to cut off pieces of stainless steel to repair something in space or it was shipped up there heading for the space station or something for that purpose oh yeah can you imagine if that thing would have landed in like a city coming 
down that fast and probably go straight through multiple levels. Of the how building. though would it? How though would it? If it was up, if it was up there though, man, it wouldn't fall to Earth because the satellites don't. Well, yeah, I guess they do. Satellites they, maintain an orbit, but some pieces of it get closer and closer, and then end up coming into the yeah, atmosphere. Satellites have come to Earth. Yeah, and when when they stop working, the orbit decays, which means yeah, yeah, yeah. They get the, the they gravity, get closer to the atmosphere, regardless. The gravity of the Earth pulls it in. Yeah, I would agree with that. It didn't have to be on a prior trajectory at us, like a, like a meteorite or something. Right. If it, if it fell from that far, I mean, it probably... It could be most of it's in the ground. Could be. It'd have to use. No other metal. Yeah, they would have to. Man. And if you had, like, a thick layer of thick layer of it. Maybe they have like a big piece like that in the nose of the space shuttle or something. You never know. Weight distribution, shit like that. You know what I mean? I mean, we think, <laughs> we say it's really heavy, but in the grand scheme of a space shuttle, man, how heavy is it? Well, they were calling it, they were calling it like someone wanted made some sort of just weird random artwork out there, but that thing's already so tall it'd be too heavy to get out there yeah, in a truck or anything. Yeah, like you, man, You'd have to have a semi truck like that, man, hauling that thing up there. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I guess survey says that space object, NASA's fault, it's in the middle of the desert, eh? <laughs> or some, or some corporation's fault. People are are also saying it's like maybe a meat uh, broth that was left behind. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of feasible. I mean, I, yeah. It said the Mars-like landscape. How many movies oh, yeah. based on the Mars landscape, you know, that were, had to have been shot in the desert like that. Yeah. I, w I, I don't know. I think that's probably the best theory. A left behind movie prop. Yeah, who wants to move a damn? And it was probably like a multi-million, billion dollar film, so who, who gives a shit about a $5,000 piece of stainless steel? You know what I mean? Probably costs right. so much, yeah. Probably costs so much to move it. It's not worth moving back after the movie's done. Makes sense it'd be an extra expense to move it out of there. With, since you'd need a semi truck and shit, which you would have if you had a movie entourage fucking going out into the middle of the desert. Ways, yeah. I mean, you'd you'd have all your provisions and shit with what you're at because you're setting up a town there to make a movie. Yeah, they could they could cut a little piece off of that put it under a microscope and they can tell where it was made. Well, I mean, obviously they're pretty competent in stainless steel. Well, it's not too hard to figure out. So, I mean, probably wouldn't be alien if it was stainless steel. They might have some kind of like, we'd be like, oh, we found this metal object and we're still trying to figure out what kind of metal it is. Not that aliens couldn't have stainless steel. You would just think, man, can't have something a little better. Oh, I'm sure you could find like iron ore and stuff like that on other planets. It'd have to be an advanced race, though, advanced technology, because it would have been coming for six billion years or something to finally make it here if it just came from their planet. It'd have to come from their ship closer to us. All right, so yeah. Interesting topics this morning. We had some good morning conversations this morning. That's going to be a good one, ain't it? We definitely made that long after I go a little quicker. Yes. So, good job. Good job on the topic. Good job on the topic. Way to stay up on current current events, everybody. Because neither one of us had heard about that shit. That's it. Learn something new. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? Are those, ge I've been a goose hunter my entire life. Oh my. Hey, what else what happens, man? We got here and now both nailers won't fire, so we gotta take a look at it. Neither nail or fire.
There is a ton of geese over in that field, a hundred yards from me and right over there. Anybody who knows, knows that I grew up hunting ducks and geese. Sometimes things take precedence. Just what we need. Sorry guys, just what we need. This is probably therapeutic for some people, screwing in screws. Sorry, I had some of my uh, camera to time lapse, but we can see right there. Got another jam. Got another freaking jam. I don't know. Maybe we'll try running staples through this one. Who knows? Well, let's see. Let me get her undone. Let me get it fixed up, and then we'll run some. See if we can run some staples through it. Maybe this one will just do better with staples. We'll see. We'll be back.